first uh, live streaming video. Quite nervous about this, but inshallah all goes well. And I hope you enjoy this recipe. Today I'm bringing to you Adana kebabs. Living in Stock Newington, living in Hackney most of my life. Walking down the high street, all you can smell is the fantastic mangal, the, the Ojak Basi restaurants where there's lots and lots of barbecuing going on and the smell from the from the barbecue is just all year round even walking towards the masjid to pray salah you know the heat of it so uh, i learned this recipe uh, and i've been practicing it for the past year year and a half and i'd like to share it with you today so without much further ado uh, let's quickly go on to what um we're gonna do today all right so first thing is mint lamb mint now the lamb mint you get it's very important that the lamb mint is approximately 20% fat, 80% uh, meat. Um, I normally buy this from Asian shops. If you ask them for kebab mix, they'll give you this. They basically take the scrapes out, etc. Now, it's very essential that this kebab mix is not washed. I know it's, it's throwing away all the uh, rule books of all Asian mothers everywhere, but it's essential that you do not wash this uh this kebab mix because that's the only way we will stick the actual fat uh, makes the kebab skits onto the, onto the skewers and we'll come on to that later on um if you can't get lamb mints then you can use beef mints as well but make sure that there's extra fat put inside so it's if you can have a look it's a mottled appearance the actual fat and when that fat melts while you're barbecuing and grilling then the aroma the smoke will you know will smoke your actual meat and uh, that's where you get a distinctive taste from the Adana. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is, I've got three kgs here. I will actually put uh, the recipe uh, in one kg in the actual blog later on. Um, so what we've got is, the first thing we've got is red capsicum, red pepper, and it's been strained. Okay, it's been diced and it's been strained. Um, the reason for this is that you can't have water in your mix or minimum water. Water, liquid, is the enemy of all kebabs. Whether it's burgers or shish kebabs, whatever it is, you know, liquid is the enemy. So there's one capsicum per kg. So I've got three uh, red peppers capsicum. Uh, so I've got three peppers diced here. It's been strained, you're still getting water out. So I'm gonna put that into the mix. Okay. Second thing is that we've got is this is a special type of pepper okay it's a sun-dried pepper that you get in southern um, turkey uh, it's called er ulfa pepper some people uh, it's called isot as well um, it's much darker it's got a smokier flavor and it's um, you know this is the essential ingredient some people use roasted uh, pepper paste but it, it, if you want an actual traditional Turkish Adana kebab, a kofti kebab, and then this is the stuff you need to you need to actually get. Now it's difficult to get hold of in certain places, but I live in a Turkish area. Any Turkish grocery shop will have this. Um, uh, there's a close up of it. So this one's called Isot. Um, it's also called okay. A bit higher, a bit lower. Okay. So this is actually called Isot. Um, uh, it's called Urfa Pepe in other places of well. Urfa Pepe. It's from the Urfa region, the south region of Turkey. Okay, have we got a good thing of that? So a little bit forward. Yeah, now we're just straight. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Okay, sorry, it's the first time doing this. We're always going to have some teeth and cheese. So, the Urfa Pepe goes in. Okay, this is about, um, this recipe is for four, uh, for three kilograms. So, uh, I'll put the actual amounts in later. But it's about four teaspoons per kg okay and the equivalent amount of sumac i'm sure you've seen sumac i put this stuff in my salads it's lovely it's got a it's a herb but it's got a lovely lemony taste okay so that also goes in to the mix okay next thing we've got is cumin okay cumin uh jira zero whatever you want to call it okay this is about uh one teaspoon per sorry two teaspoons of kg as well okay salt this is salt um this is actual sea salt and the sea salt that we've got uh you can use actual normal salt uh you can get uh, kosher salt even better 
um, because the greens are a little bit bigger. Uh, this is sea salt. You need to use 1.5% salt compared to the actual meat. Salt's very important, okay? Salt, without the salt, the actual proteins don't kind of break down, so you can't get a good mix. So it's be very difficult for you to put into the actual skewers. Okay, so salt goes in as well. And the last thing is we've got this chopped parsley, okay? Put a little bit now and then put a little bit later on as well. Okay, now, when it comes to mixing, okay, when it comes to mixing, it's important that, um, you know, you mix this really thoroughly, okay? Like if a person's making chapati flour or, or atta, whatever you want to call it, it's very essential that you give this a proper mix, okay? And this is going to take me a few minutes, so, um, you know, if you want, you can answer some, ask some questions. If there are any questions, that's come on line. Yeah? Oh, okay, so we'll, we'll just continue with this. Okay, so this is, these are very, very good mix. Okay, so if you can see my technique, you mix everything together. If you've got one of those fancy uh, mixers, planetary mixers, the KitchenAids or the Kenwood uh, K-Mix or, or, you know, the Chef, whatever you want to call it, these, this will make your job a little bit, little bit easier. But, you know, my hands are clean, so I prefer to use the traditional way. I prefer to get into the actual meat and you can feel it as well, okay? So this is gonna take a few minutes. Okay. So please do ask some questions if you need to, okay? Um, okay, very essential that I forgot to as well that the kebab, the actual mince, must be really, really cold. Okay, without it being cold, okay, you don't want the fat melting. Okay, fat is your friend. Okay, there's a lot of misconceptions about fat, maybe we've been told a big lie by uh, whoever demonized fats but um you know in terms of kebabs and burgers fat is your friend okay because fat will maintain the moisture okay so if you have a look the kebab mix come together okay ideally okay i'm gonna do this for a few more minutes and then i'll show you how to put it up on an actual skewer as well okay right Hard work. My workout done for today. Any questions come through, Miss Hello yeah. Foodie? I think you need to maybe click on the link first. Okay. And then you'll come up. Okay, this is nearly there. I've had some requests for other recipes, like my buttermilk chicken recipe. We can probably put it up. A uh, perfect gourmet burger recipe that we can probably put up as well. Um, but if you want a, a recipe request, then no problem. Just contact me via the blog, holydfoodie.com, and uh, you'll be able to contact me via then and put a request on, and hopefully, we'll do more of these sessions. Okay, right. Okay, longer. Ideally, okay, we we'll do this for much longer, but for the purpose of this video, I don't want you to bore to death. You want to continue mixing this until you get fat on the sides of the actual bowl. Okay, uh, it's going to take a little bit longer. Okay, but um, let's continue. Do this for a little longer, and I, what will happen? The test will be. If you put it in your hand, it will stick to your fingers. Okay, it's not exactly sticking to my fingers; it's slightly sticking to the fingers, but it is a little bit tacky. Okay, but it needs a little bit more of a mix, and this is the key part. Okay, I know it's a little bit of a effort, but all good things 
you know, require sufficient amount of effort. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put this up to skewer now, an attempt anyway. Ideally, you should need much more. Okay, so first thing, let's talk about skewers, okay? Skewers, this is a skewer, Turkish, traditional Turkish skewer, about uh, one and a half centimeters in width. Uh, this one's a very good quality one, it's a K-tune one. It's about two millimeters thick, okay? It's about a foot long. Um, and, you know, you can get cheaper versions uh, around. Um, somebody asked me online where, where I get my skewers from. Uh, these were actually bought in Turkey um, a few, about a year ago and uh, become very useful. Uh, you can put lots of things on, you know, you can do lots of barbecuing on this. And because there's only two things to turn around, traditional, I've got other traditional Indian skewers as well, but they have four sides. This is just double sided. Um, you can, there's shops in Stock Newton that sell them, but they're not cheap. They're about four or six pounds each, uh, but worthwhile investment, you know, if you do a lot of barbecuing at home with family, friends and family. Okay, so you make a ball with your hand. Still not good enough, but we'll do it for the purpose of this video. Um, you put, sorry, the first thing is that you wet your hands, okay? Because then the, won't, the mix won't stick to your hands, okay? Then you make a ball, thread it through, okay? And then squeeze slightly on both sides and spread across, okay? Until you got equal covering on both sides, okay? Actually, it worked out quite well, okay? Make sure Obviously, you know the side size of your barbecue. My barbecue will do about this big. Okay, and this ain't going anywhere. Okay, look for any breaks. Like there's a small break there. Pull it up. Okay, and that's it. Any questions? Um, uh, three. Okay. Um, the first one is how long do you have to mix them for? You'll need to mix it until. Um, the actual um, the meat sticks to your hand. That, this it'll take me five minutes, but it's, uh, when I go off air, I'm going to give this a proper proper mix. You'll be able to see that the that the fat will stick to the side of your bowl. At the moment, it's still not ideally. There is a little bit, but there's not much. Okay, so it needs a longer uh, mix. Uh, I've just shortened it because you know I don't want to bore you. Um, the second one is. Um, can you go over the ingredients, please? Yeah, I'll put a again. I'll put a list of ingredients uh, back onto the website uh, a little bit later on. Um, I can actually go through the, uh, the ingredients again. First thing is uh, one pepper per kg strained, diced and then strained. You don't want any liquid on it. Uh, Esop for all for pepper, uh, cumin, parsley and uh, that's it I think. Salt, obviously, 1.5% salt, okay? So, and then you've got another two. Okay. What's the ratio of meat to fat? 80% uh, meat, 20% fat, has to be that, okay? okay? Otherwise, these won't stick. Um, how many kebabs can one kg make? One kebab. <sighs> 50 grams per kebab, 50, 60 grams per kebab. Okay, so you're making, I don't know, how many is that? 20 in a kg, 15, 17 in a kg? And? Depending on the size of your skewers and the size, you know, how big you want to make the kebabs. Yeah, that's. That's all the questions for now. Okay, one more demonstration of how to put the skewers on. Okay, and then we'll talk a little bit how you grill these. I'm not going to be able to show you how to grill them because this will need to set for a few hours and then we'll be able to do it. So uh, make a, make a, wet your hands first, obviously. Make a little ball, okay? Make a little ball, put your skewer through and then start squeezing, okay? And work your way down until you've got an even mix on both sides, okay? Um. 
Okay. The kebab mix must be cold when you do this, or it just won't stick. And if you're doing multiple um, kebabs, I would say buy a lot of skewers, buy a few skewers, and on top of that, put them into cold water, okay, which uh, Mr. Louis Davidi does for me, and clean them and then cool them before you apply the second batch. Okay. Um, there's another three questions. Okay, carry on. Um, would you ever use coriander in place of parsley? Um, coriander parsley are completely two different uh, herbs. Uh, traditionally, for um, Adana kebab, they don't use coriander, they use parsley. So uh, for this, I'll use parsley. If you're making shish kebabs, which I can put a recipe on, and the recipe's on my blog, actually, and uh, we'll do a, video, a live video feed for that as well, if you want, in a few weeks. Um, that, you use coriander. And that you won't use pepper, you'll use strained uh, onions. Um, there's, do you wash the meat? So um, as I said, unfortunately, okay. Um, most places that you have shish kebabs or adana kebabs or kofta kebabs, they will not wash the meat. What I usually do is when I go to the butcher, I do not buy the, uh, the pre mint stuff because you don't know how long it's been there for. So what I do is that I get them to cut uh, a piece off or have the shape they have the shavings there and then uh, minced it in front of my eyes and it's double minced that's another thing double minced so it's put through the machine twice so you get a more even structure um then there's um when will your la next live stream be and on which recipe um i haven't decided okay people can make the suggestions but i make uh chicken but milk fried chicken is uh, is an option uh shish kebab is an option uh burgers um halloo foodie gourmet burgers uh with with cheese is, is an option um how to barbecue i was thinking is is an option a lot of people they don't barbecue they especially with chicken they they, they uh, i don't use any sort of lighter fluid you know i've been to so many barbecues and all you can taste is, is like a petroly taste not very uh, appetizing and most of the time the outside is completely blackened and you know completely and the inside is completely raw or they overcook their chicken so much that it's, it's lost any sort of moisture and you have to have lots of sauces on top so i've got a few options but obviously i'll keep it up to you if you want um you know put some suggestions on this uh, on on youtube on uh, my facebook page on my t on my twitter or you know on instagram you know, and then we'll see if we take it from there, whichever one we work in, you know, whichever one is most common, we'll see if I can do that. And the last one is, also, do you, do you piece the ball of meat? It's a good technique. I've seen people wrap it around the skewer. You can wrap it around the skewer. What I normally do is that I want to put equal distribution on both sides. But because I want to put equal distribution on both sides, that's why I put it through the half. But if you do the other way, it's a little bit difficult to actually get an amount in. Um, I've got another two. Lots okay, no problem. Do you, do you recipe for kobido kebabs? I don't know. Kobido kebabs? Uh, I haven't done a recipe for kobido kebabs. Uh, I've not really made them, but I can have a look at it and uh, I'll see how many, um, uh, whether, you know, I'll make it, I'll try it out. I, I usually try out recipes, you know, try to make them better, a hun uh, you know, a year or so. But, you know, barbecue season is coming. I barbecue all year round, but uh, barbecue uh, season is coming and we'll see if I can do a kobida kebab as well. And then there's, what mince is this? What this is lamb mince. What exactly do you ask for at the butchers? If you go to an Asian butcher, I um, don't want to be, um, you know, start opening a can of worms, but I usually get a lot of my meat from Turkish butchers. Um, but for this meat, uh, I have to go to an Asian butcher. The reason why the a Asian butcher, they uh, have a mix which is much more fatty, if you ask for it, that is. So if you ask them for kebab mix, okay, with a, you know, 20% fat, okay, normally what they do, if, so for example, I saw him making lamb mince yesterday, any of the cuts that they get off from the belly, etc., which which are quite fatty, which are about 80% 80 uh, 80 meat, 20% uh, fat, um they'll actually take that and then they'll mince it. And you mince it twice and have a look. If it's got that mottled appearance, 
This video will be uh, it's going to continue to be on YouTube, so you can look back at the the meat that I had. This was bought, yes, uh, you know, this was bought, and it was mint in front of my eyes. Okay, and uh, it's working well. I just need to give a little bit more mix. Any other questions? Um, there's another one. What did you mean by leaving the kebab mixtures aside before making the kebab? Okay, so obviously, you know, we want to let this marinate. Okay, um, it's the fat will melt because of the heat of your hands, so it's best. To uh, marinate them, leave them, ideally overnight, if not, in the morning, um, marinate them and in the evening, actually cook them. That's what I mean by set. Any other questions? Um, no. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you for joining us. Um, as I said, please do try this recipe. Tell me how you get on. Um, link on to the Facebook site, the actual website. The Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Any requests you can ask for. If you've got some good recipes, I'm looking for uh, people to write for haludifoodie.com. Um, and uh, hopefully, inshallah, this will be the first of many uh, live broadcasts that we do. Uh, I will, hopefully, of the actual final product uh, later on, maybe tomorrow or the day after. Uh, and keep posted for them as well, inshallah. Okay? Assalamu alaikum fi amanullah, or shall I say, uh, Allah iman and Lord and Allah was Allah um, you know I'll, I'll see you soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh just another question. One more question, okay go on. <laughs> How long do you cook it for on the barbecue? Yes, sorry, I forgot. Uh barbecue. How long do I cook it for the barbecue? Right. I was gonna mention that. When you when you skewer these, okay, they're skewered at the moment, okay. When you cook them in the bar best way is cooking them in a barbecue. You cook them outdoors, there's a lot of fat, the fat will hit the charcoal, it'll evaporate, it'll vaporize, and then it'll flavorize your actual meat. What I tend to do is that when you cook on one side, you cook them for 30 seconds first and then turn them over because you want both sides to cook equally. Because if you've got one, if you imagine one side's gonna be cooked, the other side's gonna be raw, then your kebabs will risk breaking apart. So what I do is that 30 seconds and then 30 seconds. Depending on how hot your charcoal are, you should really be doing it really hot. Then it will only take two or three minutes on either side. Okay, so one and a half minutes, two minutes on each side, three side, and then you can make a test. Don't try to overcook these. Okay, they don't need overcooking, but because of the fat level, they'll still be really moist and very tender. And then there's how do you ensure the meat stays on the skewer? Um, use a fatty mix. Okay, make sure you put. Uh, 1.5% salting, okay, and give it a good mix. This is still not uh, mixed enough for me. Um, you'll know when it, when the actual mint will stick to your hands. At the moment, it's still falling off a little bit, okay. So as soon as I go offline, I'll be giving this a real, uh, you know, real um, mix. Can it also be grilled or made in the oven? You could grill them, yeah, no problem with grilling them. The only thing with grilling them is, I would say, put them onto a um you know raise them up put them on the oven tray so the fat goes down onto the floor because these are quite fatty if you try to fry these then you'll get a lot of fat um ideally you could put them in you could do them in a frying pan as well but ideally i would say uh you want to do these in on the barbecue how if not you could do them in a grill how about in the oven on the oven in a hot grill will probably be better yeah um, or fry them uh, in oven baking mm, never tried it but you know really hot cast iron pan or griddle pan. Um, what we normally do is to check the salt, I'll take a little bit of this mix and I'll fry a little bit off and we'll, we'll, have, a, we'll, we'll have a taste. But obviously it's gonna be more fatty because there's no way for the fat to go. George Foreman maybe might work properly as well. There's, um, why does the meat fall off when I barbecue it? It's probably, you may have washed the actual meat. You may have washed the meat. If you wash the meat then, um, you know, there's very little chance that the actual fat will remain and the fat is what's binding the whole kebab together. Uh, don't be surprised, most of the places that you have shish kebabs in, adana kebabs in, kofta kebabs, none of them wash their meat, okay? Uh, I know it's, we find it, it's a little bit difficult for us because we're, you know, we culturally, we've got this thing that we have to wash our meat uh, for this. But as I said, I made sure that the butcher he uh, he um, it was fresh 
minced it twice in front you know in front of us i saw him taking out the meat and the you know it will stay in the fridge for a few days as well and then um how long should you keep marinate before cooking on the barbecue um ideally overnight if not a few hours is uh, more than sufficient i think we'll answer that question and then can you show your barbecue setup um we'll do that in another um we'll do that in another video hopefully uh, barbecue well i'll show you how i like my barbecue how you know a lot of people light them incorrectly they think putting lighter fluid on and you know seeing the flames go up no you know uh, the the charcoal should be covered with ash before you start barbecuing and um, i normally have two zones on my barbecue okay a hot zone and a safe zone okay so if something's getting on the verge of actually you know getting overdone or then you can put them onto the the, the cool zone so it will just keep warm but it won't burn but we'll have a look at that in another video and then does how long to cook it then how long we've answered that? Uh, depending on this, on your on your barbecue, you'll be able to see, um, you know how, uh, how well it's um, it is proceeding. But you you will need, you know, a, a, without being burnt, you need that you know golden brown colour on, on the outside. Um, okay. Any other questions? Um, no more. No more questions? Okay, I bid you farewell. Assalamu alaikum. Allah is, you know, Allah make it easy for everybody, inshallah, and tell me how you get back, uh, get on with this. And um, hope to see you soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.